When the church closed, um, it was a sad day, a tough day. You know, there's probably a two and a half year period there where we didn't really know what was going to happen. We just kept praising God for what he was doing. We knew he was up to something, but we didn't know what. We had outside help. I think at that point, people from outside were doing more to get the church started than what we were. We didn't really know what to do. The Lord called me into ministry. I felt that burden on my life when I was 19. Did not surrender to that calling right away. Uh, several months time span that went by to where in his gentle way, I kept feeling that prompting towards towards ministering. I didn't know what that meant, like being a pastor. Or I, I didn't really know what role he was gonna have for my life. Pastor Noel and Jill Gandy show up and they felt led to come from Mississippi and start a church someplace. We were invited to come check out this work in Shenandoah. There was an empty church building sitting here and um, we came and met Marvin and Ruth Freed. Jill and I, we left and out of my mouth, no kidding, out of my mouth I said, I will, I'll never see that place again. We just went home and spent a few weeks separately praying about what the Lord would have us do. My dad and I came back and during the days I would come and spend my time praying over Shenandoah with my dad. And when I left that time, it was like, yeah, total peace, like this is what needs to happen. I shared that with Jill in October of that year. And I shared that very apprehensively because it was gonna clearly rock our world, be a big upheaval. But come to find out the Lord had been burdening her about it. We just really felt a strong leading from the Lord, both separately, that this is where we needed to be. And she was uh, so supportive and felt confirmation in her spirit as well that the Lord was calling us into church planting. And I remember saying to him, I think we should move to Iowa. And he said, I really think so too. Dear Heavenly Father, what a great joy it is to be able to lift up a prayer to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. God, you've been such a blessing to me, such a blessing to my family in lending direction in your will for our lives. Thank you so much for our church, for the work, God, that is being done there for salvation that has been found there. It's all to your glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Yeah, the feeling when um, Christ Point, or the church reopened as Christ Point Baptist Church, um, he was to see hope actually mature in the reality. As soon as we walked in, it was joy. And that's why I knew the Lord was here again. Joy and freedom. Wonderful. It was just exhilarating to not just witness a prayer being answered, but being answered in such a grand fashion with such a wonderful family that came to open the doors. Currently, if a new person would come into the church, I think they would notice um, the fellowship. The friendliness. The friendliness, being greeted, being said, Hi, welcome. Do you want a cup of coffee? So, as the pastor, my hope is that you have a genuine encounter with, with the Lord and that you can say, I left and I've, I've experienced Christ. Like, that's what my hope is for everyone. I know not everyone always comes seeking that. Some come for fellowship or social reasons or whatever, but my, my genuine hope is that through the presentation of the gospel, that you'll be impacted to live a, a life that's more Christ-like. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you just so grateful, Lord, to be able to be a minister of your word that you've entrusted me, Father, with this tall responsibility of sharing the gospel. Really and truthfully, you've called us all to be ministers of your word, but you've seen fit to give me this opportunity, Lord, and I'm, I am very, very grateful that the King of Kings would allow me to have such a task. Lord, the sheer fact that you saw fit to bring 
Jill and Charlie and Lucy and me to Shenandoah to see this work, Christ Point Baptist Church, to see this work come to fruition. The fact that you would allow us to be a part of this, what a blessing. You are so good and you're generous and Lord, we've certainly felt your presence every single step of the way. This is not our work, God. This is yours. And I pray that you are delighted, God, and that you find great joy in what you see and what you hear coming out of this place. May this not be about us, but Lord, may this be about you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.